Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Actually, it might even go on my Samco Workshop channel, so I'm not sure which one this will end up on. We'll see. Uh, but we are running uh, that smoker. We just bought that master built smoker. Uh, we've had a few of these master built smokers when we've been, have been in Michigan. We've been using them for the last, you know, 12 years or whatever. Uh, we usually get about six, seven, eight years out of one before it goes bad. Um, and we use them a lot. Well, we are just set this up. We are first time using it right now. Uh, we are running some of these uh western mesquite barbecue some, uh, chips that we're putting in there but simple functional i have it running right now we just started with some salmon flays you can see it's heating up to 90 degrees in there right now and uh, uh but very simple function you click on your your temperature you want go up or down to get the temp you want hit on the timer go for the amount of time you want which we have on three and a half hours it should see 326 to go uh we are smoking some salmon fillets we got going in here right now. And uh, you can see the smoke starting to pour out already. Put some water in the pan. We got four salmon fillets going. We'll check them in three and a half hours. Probably going to need about four hours, we're thinking, but we're going to check them then. Simple latch system. It is a set it and forget it type system. Okay, your wood chips go in. You stick them right in here, which she already has turned in, but you open this, put your wood chips in that, put it in, and twist it. Boom, drops the wood chips right into the chipper down there. Got a window in it. Um, this window will eventually be smoked up, and you won't be able to see through it anymore. I never understood the purpose of it, but right now it looks really cool. But we will update you, but it's a set it and forget it. Walk away and don't worry about it, which is the beauty of it. You can control uh, how much smoke you want coming in and out. You can control everything on this and it is a functional simple little smoker so and it's very affordable so we will come back and see um how this looks when we're all said and done we're actually going to just let it run we're going to go do some running and uh shopping we got to do but uh like I said about four hours later we should have some perfectly done salmon fillets in there ready to roll and uh be all good we'll have to add chips probably one or two more times in with those as they go through but for the most part that's it plug it in i got an extension cord to my one outlet that's out here plugged in right there set right here out in the open covered if it does rain on it but simple and then i take this and i just stick it right here on that wall and this grill goes where that is and uh but that's it just nothing nothing crazy about it it's not heavy it's nice and lightweight and uh, it's got a good grease drip pan here in the back right there like that set up so it's just like i said functional and easy and simple no having to mess with uh propane bottles or watching that or fighting with the temperatures with it no pellet stoves no i mean not that those are bad but for the price of this you can't beat it and it's simple set it forget it walk away you come in here you set your temperature we're already up to 116 we got 324 to go but um basically like i said it'll probably be four four and a half hours but it's climbing uh we got this going up to 225 is what we're going to have this at we're going to run we want it to be about three hours and 15 minutes at 225 degrees and then we'll check and add more if we need but just simple set it forget it easy to do and we will come back and update you as uh in a couple hours when we see how things are going but simple affordable functional long lasting can't beat that so we'll keep you posted all right we got an hour and 17 minutes still to go cooking right here 117 to go and uh whatever it is it's been fluctuating we're at 214 it's been 225 goes up comes down a little bit normal uh, sorry about the noise you can see it's raining pretty good it is definitely pouring out so a perfect day to be smoking stuff and uh but you can see in there that we are cooking just fine like I said, you can see the screen kind of gets pretty, the window gets kind of worthless. But we are cooking away just fine. And like I said, we'll check it when we're, uh, you know, we got an hour and 16 minutes left. We'll see how they're doing. But just simple and easy. And, um, you know, just stick your, uh, we just put another set of chips in there just a few minutes ago. But real easy. Just let it do its thing. Don't mess with it. All right. Timer just ran out. We are at zero. We are at 232 degrees, which, like I said, it varies a little bit up and down on there. They are looking very good in there. We are going to check them, but we are also going to reset this. Uh, we are going to set that temperature, and we are going to bring it down. That's how easy this is to do. We are going to bring them down to about 175, and we are going to keep them in there until uh, uh, we are going to go to 185. And uh, So we set that, hit it, it locks. That will take that down to there, and we are going to go up. Uh, we're going to go up about uh, 20 minutes, actually 30, 
because we're gonna wait for Tina to, oh, hang on. No, oh, that's ours, we don't want ours, sorry. I wanna go back to zero on that. Hang on. Come on, oh. There we go, and then we are gonna scoot this over. And here we're gonna go up to 30, we can just press and hold it. And we're gonna go up to 30 minutes. And we're gonna hit time on that and let it go. It's gonna get cooking when it's time. And, uh, but we are gonna let Tina decide here if they're smoked enough as she wants, but look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fog up my lens, but look at those, pure perfection. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna leave them in here. She'll be back in about 10 minutes. And uh, since I want her to make the final call on them, that'll just kind of keep them stabilized a little bit and keep them uh, just slow rolling in there for, like I said, for a few minutes till she gets here. And then we will see the finished product. But sweet, simple, and easy. I just showed you how to set that. Nothing to it. This is cakewalk easy stuff. Uh, you know, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Add the wood chips right on the side. You can see Tina made a mess with some of the wood chips here. We could put those in if we wanted to. So we're just taking these. And uh, we take this thing out, spin it. Pull it out. It comes all the way out. So you can put whatever you want in there. We're going to set them in here because we're one-handed operation here. Like that. Put them in. Get that to go in. And you just give it a turn and it dumps them right in there. Done. That's it. And if you got any major greases coming out, they accumulate right there in the grease trap. Sweet, simple, and easy. Doesn't get more effective than that. And like I said, since we're trying to tone that temp down anyway, I'll open it again. But look at that. Just pure perfection. Put water right down in here for some moisture content. Life is good. And, it, you know, so simple. And there's no dishes to clean, no stuff to mess with. Done and easy. So, all right, as soon as she gets here, we'll pull them out and uh, show you the final deal. Okay, we have the boss coming to pull them out. She made it back. Look what we got there. Woo, woo, woo. How easy is that? You know, just, just it doesn't get much more simple than that, basically. You're going to take these things, you're going to put them in there, you're going to set the temperature, and you're going to walk away, leave them for three and a half or four hours, and you're, you're done. That's all there is to it. Look at that. Perfectly done salmon fillets. Smoked salmon. Her spatula skills are not as good as the rest of her cooking skills. She's got, <laughs> she's got mad cooking skills. <laughs> but that's it right there. So we'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Oops, fogging up on there, but there it is. That's it. All right, you're good, T. But this is a, that smoker. This is the simplicity of this thing right here. Um, you know, quick little wipe out with a little bit of uh, scrubby, and it's done. And it's it. It's ready to go for next time. Sweet, simple, and easy, and it doesn't get any better than that. Um, like I said, no muss, no fuss. Real easy process. Hit the lock, close her up, done. Power's already off. It's finished, and uh, I can unplug it. And then stick it back in the wall over here. Put this back where it goes, right there, and we are all done until we want to use it again. So, uh, like I said, I mean, I know it's the first time we use this one, but keep in mind that, like I said, we, this is our third one of with these we've owned, so I know them very well. Um, but they're just, oh, I got to dump that water out of there still, too. So we do that before we move it so we don't spill it all over. So we're going to take the water tray, pull this tray out, set it there. Water tray has to lift up. And then come out, and then we'll dump that, and that'll feed the plants. There we go. And I'll clean that stuff out of there, but that is, falls right back in into its own little slot. Tray goes right over top. And here's our wood chip tray. Do we got any left? Still do. Got some wood chips left in there. Good for next time. Nice. But that is the process uh, right there. That's that simple, functional smoker. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll be back with another video for you soon. Thanks for watching.